Here we're going to uh, add a little something down here in the thermostat. Now what I've done is put a two-stage thermostat and a two-stage gas valve. Now what that means is the first stage will usually be half of the BTU output of the second stage. And so you can operate the uh, furnace when the temperatures are mild using essentially what is a smaller furnace. And uh, it saves a little bit of energy, uh, probably keeps the temperature in the structure a little uh, more even. Because you have to design your furnaces so that they will take the cold temperatures, but for the most part, you don't have those cold temperatures. And so a smaller furnace will work, and this two-stage deal will, uh, will do a good job. So let's see how this thing works. Okay, here we have a call for first-stage heat. Power passes through R, through the closed thermostat, out W1, W1 of course is first stage, through the closed limit to energize a gas valve in low fire. Up here in the high voltage, the fan switch warms as the heat exchanger warms. Power passes through the fan switch, through the fan switch relay to energize the fan motor in low speed. Now let's take a look at it in second stage. Okay, uh, the only thing that's changed for this uh, second stage is that temperatures continue to drop in the structure. Another one and a half to two degrees. Power passes from R through the second stage of the thermostat out W2 to energize the gas valve in second stage. Uh, fan switch is still on because it's already warmed up the heat exchanger and we continue to operate. 